Hey, it's Meredith, and it's Monday, June 8th, 2015, and I'm two weeks post-op today. Yay! Um, okay, let's just, I guess I'll do the numbers first, as they say in other YouTube videos. Um, uh, do you want the whole thing? I guess, um... When I started, I was at 370 at the beginning of December, and then at the beginning of January, I was like 367, lost three pounds over Christmas. Um, I think I deserve a medal for that, because <laughs> we all know the dangers of December. Um, my hair is crazy today. I didn't do it, like, but it still has... Pr and I haven't showered today. And it still has product left in from going to church yesterday, so which makes it extra crazy. Anyway, I'll try not to touch it the whole video. Um The day before surgery I was at three ten. Last week I was at three oh three point four. And gosh dang it, I hate that scale. Even if I don't weigh every day, it still played mind games with me all week long. So I had to keep, keep reminding myself, like, this is more than just a number. You were worth more than a number. Like, this is, you know, and I just like, well, what if I'm just a slow loser and I can't do that? And it's like, I mean, I can if I'm a slow loser, like, psh. I don't, if I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to be doing, I can't control that. So for somebody who likes to be in control, that's hard. Anyway, so those were the mind games that played with me all week long. And I don't weigh every day. I weigh once a week for a reason. <clears throat> anyway, enough with the crazy. Uh... I did notice this week in the mirror, though, that I was like, okay, well, even if the number doesn't show on the scale, like, I can start to see it in my body, you know? And that's hard because, uh, you know, you look at yourself in the mirror every day. There's mirrors all over my parents' house, and it's like, oh, oh. and it's like, oh, it's, there's a little, oh, my butt's still big, but, you know, it's like my, my I noticed especially in my stomach area. So it's like, okay, so even if the number is not that great, um, I I notice it in myself. So it's just, you know, stay positive. Um, and I am getting to it. I I kept thinking 299, 299, that'll give, get me like 71 pounds lost and it'll be good and I'll be under 300. Like, well, I didn't meet that. Today, I weighed in at 290.4. <laughs> I was like, what? And I got off, and I cleared the scale, and I got on again. 290.4. I was like, okay. And <laughs> I, what the heck? That is 19.6 pounds in two weeks. Who does that? Well, Weight loss surgery patients do, but holy crap, I just, 13 pounds even this week, that, <laughs> no wonder I saw a difference in the mirror, that's like 20 pounds in two weeks, like, so, I was just flabbergasted, and I just kept saying, uh, thank you, Lord, thank you, uh, <laughs> I, you know, still got, I've been getting in my liquid every day, liquids, uh, 64 more ounces a day. I've been getting over 40 grams of protein on Thursday. I started full liquids and I've been getting in like yogurt and cottage cheese. I don't know if you can, you can't really, I can start feeling my collarbones now. Um, oh, you can kind of see them. There they are. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Yeah, started full of liquids on Thursday, so my calories have gone up to like 350 to about 500 each day, and uh, 
Yeah, added in yogurt, cottage cheese, hate protein shakes, so I'm not doing it. Cream soups, I'll talk about that. And, um, yeah, I've been increasing my walking. So, like Monday last week, I got in two blocks morning and evening, and then I just increased it by a block so every day. So yesterday I did eight blocks in the morning and eight blocks in the evening. And, uh, but, <laughs> I mean, whatever. It's just whatever. I don't, I don't know what to say. <coughs> it's a weight loss surgery. And Jesus. <laughs> well, mostly him. <laughs> uh, yeah. <coughs> so I wanted to talk about eating, moving to full liquids, and talked a little bit about my exercise already. Um, oh, and, uh, weird rashes on my stomach. I'm already six minutes in. Doesn't seem like that. This seems a lot shorter. Anyway. Okay. Thursday, I moved to full liquids, which is basically just adding dairy. <laughs> Honestly, you can, um, my surgeon's plan, you can have milk, like 1% or lower milk fat, yogurt, specific types of yogurt, uh, cottage cheese, soft cheeses, and cream soups, plus any clear liquids that were fine. Uh, that you can also have the clear liquids that you had on the clear liquid week. So, um... So I've been experimenting. For me, cream soups, no. I hate the taste of them. I, I'm i not a big fan of soup in the first place. So now I've got these cans of cream soup, and I'm just like, too bad. Um, I'm not a big fan of yogurt either. I don't hate it, but I don't like having it every day. Um... I do like the Dan and Light and Fit Greek. Um, I can my sleeve will hold about an ounce at a time, so that's been fun getting to know that. And uh, so yeah, I've my dad bought like four containers, like because the package comes with four, and I've had two, and I'm gonna try to eat a whole one today because it's 12 grams of protein. Um, trying not to rely on powders and stuff for all my protein, like I did last week. Uh, anyway, and cottage cheese, I have enjoyed, but it's, it's weird, because sometimes it's like, my sleeve's like, yeah, cottage cheese, good times, and then I'll have the exact same thing two hours later, and it's like, what is this? I hate life, and duh. It's just a learning curve. <laughs> I know it won't be like this always. I've not thrown up. I've been... I felt like stuff was going to come up. And I felt like stuff to the rafters. <laughs> um, I'm like, I had an eighth of a cup. You know, but it's... I, I've been fine. Like, a little discomfort here and there. No acid reflux. No, it's, it, you know how when you like um, text messages. I told you I was popular. Uh, you know how it is when you just eat and eat and eat and eat and then you get really tightly uncomfortably full. Uh, that's what it feels like. And so in my head, it's like, oh, you're gonna gain weight now. And, you know, but I just kept having to say, no, it's because my stomach's now about that big. And, you know, it's, it's it's not holding very much right now. So, anyway. Uh, but what I've been doing with the cottage cheese is I'll put in a little um, marinara sauce and I'll microwave it. So it's kind of, uh, it's good. I like it. And because I have been wanting savory more than sweet uh, lately because there was a lot of sweets last week and... You know, with the crystal light and the ice pure and stuff like that. So I was like, I don't know. And yesterday I had um, some cottage cheese that I microwaved and I put in a little bit of the Frank's Red Hot Sauce. I was like, let's just do it because I was really craving the Frank's Red Hot. Yeah, no problem. It was fine. Um, 
It tasted really good. So I think I'm going to do that again today. Uh, yeah. So I have a liked cottage cheese. But you know what? Since adding the dairy, I've just felt... Uh, that's from my multivitamin. That almost made me throw up this morning. And I'm not going to have that kind anymore because that was, that was no good. Um, is the celebrate, like orange flavored one so in case you're curious it just is not nice to me so I'm not gonna do it anymore um yeah once I on Thursday I can move to soft foods and I'm on soft foods for two weeks and I'm just gonna cut the dairy out and I just be like no I don't want to do that anymore so I so I've been more mucusy and just feeling like meh since adding dairy back in. I feel a lot better when I don't have dairy. So maybe that's part of the reason that my sleeve is like sometimes. I don't know. It's fine with the yogurt. It's fine with cottage cheese sometimes, and other times it's not. <sighs> the cream soups just I I didn't like it, so that was just me. Okay. <clears throat> Talked about exercise. Uh, this morning I went to one of my favorite parks and um, I walked for an hour, really slow. Uh, yeah, I, I don't walk very fast since my surgery. Um, and like half of the walk is this steady incline. It's not a bad incline, it's just, I don't know, I'm a lot weaker than I expected to be after surgery. I mean, I'm doing well, my energy is good, and I, you know, I just, I don't go very fast. So, um, it was good. I think I got about 5,000 steps in, so I think I walked like a mile and a half or so. Uh, anyway. I just love that part, though. Ooh, now look at the hair. <sighs> Said I wasn't going to mess with it. I lied. Okay. And on my walk, I took um, one of those uh, clear protein powder. Oh, sorry. It's a protein powder um, drink mix that uh, is like orange pineapple flavor uh, so I put that in a little 16 ounce water bottle and I also put two packs of like crystal light um, raspberry lemonade flavoring in and I put in the water and some ice and I shook it up but I just kept sipping on that all throughout the walk because I need to be careful about um, constantly consuming protein in the clear liquids, that's what I was doing because I was mixing in the protein for the day with all my liquid for the day, so I was constantly getting protein in. Well, on Friday, I had met my protein goal early in the day, at like 1 o'clock. And so and then I kept drinking my liquids, you know, doing well. And then about 5 or so, I went on a walk. And I came back and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm feel, not feeling so great. I'm going to go take a shower and then I'm going to go eat some yogurt. Um, took a shower and I just felt awful. Like my body got cold. I was shaking a little bit. I felt faint. Didn't feel like I was going to faint, but I felt faint. And I, um, it was hard getting my clothes on. <laughs> I was like, well, I can't go out there naked and go get some yogurt. But yeah, I think my blood sugar just dropped super low, um, because I wasn't keeping up on a constant stream of protein. So, learned my lesson there. So, it was good for me to just have that little 16-ounce water bottle and take it on the walk with me this morning, and every few moments I stopped and sipped on it, and I was done by the, done with it by the time I got back to the car, or there was a little, whatever. So, that was good. Uh, yeah, so I want to go to that.
Park or a park every morning this week. So that'll be my goal. And then in the evenings, just continue to walk around the neighborhood. Um, okay. So on my stomach, the post-op instructions are that you have to clean your incisions and um, put new band-aids on twice daily. So I've been doing that. Um, I had been doing that. And then my skin started reacting to the band-aids that were on there. I'm not going to show you. They actually look a lot better today. But it's so always like, oh. And they don't tell you how long you have to keep doing that incision care. And so last Wednesday, I just stopped. I, I kept cleaning them twice daily, but I just stopped wearing band-aids. And uh, they actually, my incisions started healing a lot faster. And uh, now my rash from my band-aids is going away with sad, sad skin. Um, and I've got these weird, dry, itchy patches on the side of my stomach where there are no incisions. I don't know if going <clears throat> I, If you've experienced something similar, let me know. Uh, okay, and then I got my medical alert bracelet this week. So, I like it because it doesn't really look like one. And then there's the tag on the back. It has my name, the fact that I had a sleeve gastrectomy in May of 2015, and no NG tube or NSAIDs. So that's what they said that you should put on yours. So I did. I got it from a website called Lauren's Hope, and they've got a lot of cool designs. And see, it like clips on to the tag. And there were a couple of other bracelets, but I was like, ooh, I'd like that. And you can buy just the bracelet separate from the tag. But then I thought, Psh, I could probably make something, you know? If it just clasps on, so if I get to feeling crafty later, maybe I'll have some alternative bracelets. But yeah, I really like it. It's fairly cheap. It was about $100 for all of it. And I paid for a little bit of expedited shipping. Sorry about the burping. Uh, yeah. So, anyway. Moving on to soft foods this week on Thursday. I'm excited. It'll be good. Um, I've got some plans. And we'll see how it goes. I want to maybe try to cook some beef or chicken. I know people have said they have problems with chicken. But I was wondering if I cooked it in a slow cooker where it's going to be really moist. And then I tried to puree it up if it would be good. Also, last night I was craving like tuna fish. So, um... We'll see. We'll see what I do. <laughs> I'll let you know next Monday how it went. Alright, we gotta stop this video. But anyway, it's been a good week. Yeah, just keep moving forward. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you have a fantabulous week as well. Bye!